Hey guys, my name is Logan. I'm with Match Grade Machine, and in this video, we're going to cover the 308 Winchester and everything you need to know about it. So Match Grade Machine makes barrels for the Thompson Center Break Action Rifles, mainly the Encore, Contender, and G2 platforms. So, today the 308 Winchester is only compatible with the Encore receivers. There are tons of factory ammo options available for the 308 Winchester. It's one of the most popular cartridges out there and you can find it just about anywhere you go that sells rifle ammunition. Uh, the different weight of bullets that you're going to find in the 308 Winchester typically are going to be from the 125 grain to the 200 grain. There may be some out there that are a little bit lighter or a little bit heavier, but the majority of your cartridges are going to be in that weight range. The cost of the factory ammo is anywhere from very inexpensive from the military surplus or very expensive with the boutique stuff like the subsonic 220 grains that you can get for 308 Winchester or maybe the Federal Gold Medal Match uh, in their match line of ammunition. If you're reloading for the 308 Winchester, the cost is medium to low. Uh, tons and tons of components available from low end to high end. You can make it as expensive as you want it to, but you can also make it very affordable if that's what you're going for. The powder charge range in the 308, because of the case size, uh, is going to be between 35 to 50 grains, obviously depending on the type of powder you're using and also the projectile weight you're using. But looking online from the light projectiles to the heavy projectiles, that's going to be about the powder charge range you're looking at. Uh, also the powder speed is going to be fast to medium. Uh, you're going to be in the Varget H4895 region, uh, a little bit faster, a little bit slower depending on what you're shooting. Barrel life on the 308 Winchester, I would expect great barrel life out of this. You're probably going to get four to 5,000 rounds plus, especially in a break action rifle like this, where you're not just going to be doing high volume of fire through it. As far as barrel length is concerned with the 308, uh, what we mainly stock is 24 to 26 inches, just by popular demand. However, this 308 that we shot today is actually a 20 inch. And for those 20 inches, you're getting a ton of punch for the length of barrel. You're also going to be saving weight but you're still getting good velocities with that length. I probably wouldn't go much shorter than 18 inches if you're looking to get out and hunt with this as a rifle. Uh, 20 inches is probably the great, uh, nice balance between weight and length there. The twist rates we offer from Match Grade Machine are seven, eight, 10, and 12. So tons of options there. Seven being a very fast twist rate for a 30 cal and 12 being a little more relaxed. That's more of what uh, the older 30 cals uh, you might find some old 300 wind mags or 308s in 1 to 12 twist. So uh, currently I would suggest getting a 1 to 10. That'll cover a wide variety from the light stuff all the way up to the heavy target bullets. Uh, the 1 to 12 will be no problem up to about the 168 grain level. If you want to shoot uh, bullets consistently above that, I would definitely suggest getting a 1 to 10. The type of contour that I would suggest for a 308 Winchester, because this is starting to get a little bit more recoil as far as cartridges are concerned. Uh, I would suggest a heavy factory contour which will fit most of your rifle fore ends or you may even step up to the muzzle loader uh, profile and you'll obviously need to get a muzzle loader fore end. We do have an FAQ video covering which fore end your TC needs for different barrel profiles. If you haven't seen that please check it out. But uh, those are going to be the two types of contours we suggest. Something to add a little bit of weight. Obviously the heavier the rifle the less it less belt recoil that you actually get on the receiving end. Here at Match Grade Machine, we do offer custom barrels. This one has a spiral flute on here. This is a faster twist. This is probably a one to eight. It is also Cerakoted with bronze highlights in the flutes and then bead blasted stainless steel on the outside. For your barrel, you can get, uh, you can get our offerings in chromoly or stainless steel, either one of them polished or bead blasted. The uh, bead blasted blue is going to give you a matte black finish and then the polished stainless will give you that nice shine. So this morning when we went out and shot the 308 Winchester right here, Dylan was actually able to put together some excellent groups and we were shooting different types of ammunition just to get a good variety to see how this barrel was really performing. Uh, the three types of bullets that we were shooting today were a 125 grain Spear TNT, a 125 grain Nosler Partition, and a 168 grain Sierra Match King. Uh, between those three, the Spear TNT measured 0.53 MOA at 100 yards. The 125 Nosler was 0.36, it's a nice clover leaf group right there with 30 cal. And then the 168 grain Sierra Match King measured in at 0.47. So between the three different types of ammunition and across four different groups, we didn't have one that went over half M away. So excellent performance with the 308 Winchester, uh, shooting very well this morning.
After shooting 100 yards, we took our 308 Winchester out to 300 yards. We had a 10 inch steel plate set up out there. We were shooting our different types of ammo at it. After a few rounds on target, we were able to shoot a group and we actually shot a five round group into about three inches near the bottom of the plate. If you're intending on shooting beyond probably four to 500 yards, if you're going beyond that, I would suggest getting one of our 20 MOA full Picatinny five inch scope bases. That's gonna cover your needs for being able to dial up beyond that. Uh, anything within that distance, I don't think you need 20 MOA. Uh, I would highly suggest picking any rail just because you can actually adjust where your scope rings are super easy and swap out optics. It's super simple to use. As far as the muzzle end goes on this rifle, we have this one threaded 5824, and that is what we would suggest doing with your rifle. Uh, it's kind of on the borderline if you need a break or not. Uh, perhaps if you're a little bit smaller frame or you're having some youth shooters shoot this. Um, we would probably suggest a break for it. If not, uh, a threading an option is always a great idea. You can throw a break on later if that's something you're interested in, or you can throw a silencer on there to keep it quiet while you're out hunting. As far as the role that the 308 plays for a cartridge, it really kind of falls into everything. You can make it do just about anything you want to do. You can go out and collect big game with a 308, or you can drop down to a lightweight bullet, go varminting, or you can go somewhere in the middle and go target shooting for fun. Uh, you can get very inexpensive up to very expensive ammo if you want. Uh, it's just a good all-around cartridge. So whatever you're up to, a 308 win is a good one to add to your list. <coughs> Well, hey guys, I greatly appreciate you watching the video. Please let me know if you have any questions at all about the 308 Winchester. We'd love to help you out. Uh, maybe you have some questions about some of our offerings, like the different types of fluting that we offer or the different types of Cerakote options that we have as well. We also have many lengths of scope bases as well as 20 MOA and flat. Uh, we are working on getting our iron sights up and going, as you can see on this rifle behind me. So that will be an option soon as well. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Please subscribe while you're here, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Right in the middle. <laughs>